Hello everyone, Marcus Thal here, and I just wanted to do a quick video to let you guys know that Oculus has released the pre-order for the Oculus Rift CV1. It should be releasing in March of this year at a price of around 599 US dollars. Wow, that hurts to say. <laughs> But uh, yeah, guys, it's uh, the days are upon us now. Uh, we now officially know when Oculus should be releasing the first uh, consumer product within their line outside of their mobile efforts in conjunction with Samsung. Uh, just wanted to share with you guys some of my thoughts on the matter. And uh, just as you can probably see, this isn't really uh, all that scripted. I just kind of uh, pre-ordered a few minutes ago or a little while ago, and I'm trying to get my raw reaction here. I mean... Uh, it's a pretty big blow to the wallet, I mean. Damn, guys, uh, when the first Rift was released on the uh, uh, Kickstarter platform, I think it was like $300, and uh, that was already pretty surprising as a price tag. It's like, oh, 300 bucks, that's not actually that bad. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty good idea. I mean, a $300 virtual reality headset just sounded good, rolled off the tongue, but... Uh, yeah, with the release of the DK2, the price went up another 50 bucks. I kind of chalked that up to, oh, it's probably just a result of the camera or something, just being added in, like a $50 webcam or something. But uh, yeah, now that we are at the CB1, we've hit a price tag of 600 US dollars. And damn, it's still hard to process that kind of a jump in price tag. I mean... I remember a while ago they said that it would be somewhere in the ballpark of 350 but uh, this isn't exactly the ballpark. At this point, that's almost like it went off into another part of the solar system. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty significant departure from what we were expecting from a price perspective. Um, yeah, I guess this kind of firmly cements what virtual reality is going to be on the PC platform as far as Oculus is concerned. You're going to need a high-end $800 to $1,000 gaming rig to run virtual reality. And you're going to need a $600 virtual reality headset to enjoy virtual reality. So, yeah, it's a pretty big leap. And I'm just curious as to what you guys' thoughts is. I mean, are any of you also pre-ordering the Oculus Rift? I mean, I was F5-ing like crazy on that store page. And when I saw people commenting on Reddit saying, uh, it's 599 US dollars, I was just praying that it was just people trolling that they hadn't seen the shop page. But, uh, what can I say? I'm a virtual reality enthusiast. And, uh, this puppy has gone through some abuse and it's going to go through some more abuse now. So, what can I do? But uh, at the, on the bright side, there are some good things about the overall package that you're going to be getting here. Uh, they announced yesterday that uh, anyone who got in the Kickstarter, at least, is going to be receiving an Oculus Rift for free. So from a development perspective, I guess that means there are maybe going to be 7,000 people you can sell your game to absolutely for sure. Not counting the 200,000 or so that already own DK2s. Uh, there's also the additional benefit, at least from a packaging perspective that it's going to have a really nice box so if you want to take it around with you or store it somewhere i guess you're going to have a nice little carrying case to move it all around in but uh yeah i guess that's some little solace when it's a 600 hundred dollar price tag uh, in addition to the whole rift you're going to be receiving a camera in all likelihood as well as uh the xbox controller that should be a good way to standardize controls development although i'm kind of disappointed that they didn't manage to include touch at this price tag God forbid how much Oculus Touch is also going to be. I wouldn't. I'm almost going to call it right now. It's probably going to be two hundred to three hundred dollars. I'm leaning on three hundred dollars right now just because expensive. But uh, yeah, we got priority pre-orders on that at the very least. I almost kind of think of it like the SAO beta, where it's like, uh, oh, you got in the beta, and you also get a, a priority access to the final ten thousand copies that release on the first day or something. But what can we do? In addition, uh, anyone who's done the pre-order will be receiving Eve Valkyrie on launch. That should be a pretty good launch game. It's a cockpit-based space simulator or shooter. I guess it's more on the shooter end from space. But uh, yeah, it should be pretty engaging. I mean, if you ever wanted to pile an R-Wing and now that Star Wars made the whole space thing popular again, uh, I guess you could have a way to live that out in the best possible way. Because seriously, guys, uh, there are some genres you do without VR, but there are some genres you just don't do without VR. And... Space Sim feels like one of those genres is one of those genres, but uh, what can I say? In addition, you will also be receiving uh, Lucky's Tale, a third-person platformer for the Oculus Rift. 
Honestly, I'm not too sure about what to think about this kind of game. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the, the few times I've tried a third-person perspective game in VR, it felt a little nauseating to have the uh, control of my own position in space not be entirely dictated by uh, my own inputs, but I guess it could be engaging on some degree, and it's a cute little platformer, and it's, I guess at this point it's part of the package, so you might as well take advantage of it. And uh, I think that's mostly it for the uh, pre-order incentives. I mean, I'm just not going to lie, guys. This is a freaking high price. I am expecting this freaking CB1 to be like, wow, the moment I put it on. Because uh, from an immediate specs perspective, like just looking at the numbers, it doesn't seem to be all that much of an improvement over my Oculus Rift DK2 over here. I mean, it's got a slightly better than 1080p display i mean i put it about maybe 25 percent more pixels uh it's well i guess it's two displays now so still overall it's just 25 percent more pixels uh the bigger thing i'm hoping for is a uh, better lenses since the lenses on the dk2 aren't exactly anything to write home about and on the contrary there might be something to write a negative review on they are probably one of the worst parts of the current dk unit but uh yeah that's a pretty so somewhat of a negative at this stage uh yeah i'm just i'm still struggling to process that 600 hundred dollar bullet that just went through my wallet but yeah this is the beginning of virtual reality guys if we go back to the beginning of consoles and video games the prices were outrageous back in the day we just didn't think much of them due to inflation but uh yeah this is vr guys Share your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you going to be buying an Oculus Rift, waiting till they get cheaper, looking into the HTC Vive or PlayStation VR? I'll probably do a video entirely on the PlayStation VR at some point, since it actually has the the best software lineup, in my opinion, of all the virtual reality headsets at this point in time. I just need to see more or less whether or not it can compete with all the virtual reality headsets, since it's using a $400 PC instead of a $1,000 PC to run most of its stuff. Well then, I guess that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, Happy New Year's, actually. This is the first video for the new year. I haven't actually done anything else. I apologize. I'm still working on the video games right now, and I've got a bunch of other stuff coming up. A lot of IRL factors really hammering into my time at this point. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can release a few more videos in the coming days and uh, see if I can share some of my thoughts on VR, since, quite frankly, this is the year of VR its debut, its magnum, uh, whatever. Say hello to VR, I guess. Well, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Marcus Stahl, logging out.